Hey, this is uh, Ross with Pillip Ambulance. Uh, I have a 2011 Ford E350 Type 2 AEV van conversion ambulance. Uh, it's got higher miles, it runs and drives good. Uh, it's uh, been fleet maintained. Uh, this was a trade-in LED light bar, uh, halogen emergency lights. This is a reflective striping that they have on here. Uh, so those stripes can be removed. It's a reflective uh, white, blue, and yellow stripe that they have. Clean interior. It's got a tire uh, pressure monitor fault. So the tire monitor sensors uh, could be one, it could be all, not really sure. Uh, we didn't really look into it. Uh, it does have 343,000 miles on it. Uh, airbag light is also on. Uh, check engine light turns off, no check engine lights. Again, you can see that. Uh, All the lights come off except for the tire pressure monitor fault and the airbag light stays on. Uh, we did a basic maintenance on this unit and we also had it cleaned. It does have a backup camera with a touch screen, uh, AM FM radio navigation. It does have your backup camera. Uh, AC heat works good. Uh, your siren. And then you can switch it from siren to horn. I think only the, si the horn works, so that does not work from the switching it from siren to horn. Uh, again, your basic controls, your primary, secondary, light bar. Wheel and siren. Again, a touch screen uh, display with uh, Bluetooth uh, built in. I think it's got a CD player, AM, FM radio, uh, navigation, um, satellite radio. I think it also has... Uh, Seats are in very good shape. It looks uh, probably replaced at one time. Uh, there's no tears on the seats. It's got rubber flooring and then a battery kill switch. Uh, again, this is a 2011 and an AEV remount or AEV um, conversion. Very clean. It does have interior LED dome lights, uh, so a standard antler retention system for the striker stretcher. You could also use a Ferno stretcher in here, which is uh, universal for these uh, types of mounts. Uh, your stair chair would go inside here. You have, uh, uh, what is it, six point seatbelt harnesses, uh, full uh, storage underneath the squad bench. Your backboard goes in here. Your main oxygen compartment is inside here. This ambulance is Star of Life certified, and that's your certification. This ambulance was converted into an ambulance by AEV on January 2012. Very clean interior. Standard layout for an AEV ambulance. Uh, your uh, uh, Fire extinguisher will go inside there. That, uh, stair chair, folding stretcher. All the cabinets work good. It does have a safety net at the end of the squad bench. Your captain's chair. Coming around to the side here. Coming around.
around to the passenger side, your rocker panels, passenger seat, it's got rubber flooring. Uh, it does have a little door to be able to access, so it is a pass-through. And then coming around to this side here, again, your rocker panels are solid. Suction unit. Suction unit works great. So that's going to be your control for your suction unit. Does have an inverter. So there's a switch here. You can see the lights come on. So that switch turns on the inverter. I believe the inverter is inside there. Yep, you can see the inverter is in there. Also, the suction pump is inside there. Uh, you got your trash can. Your uh, sharps container would go here. Again, your suction unit. You have two oxygen ports, your regulator for your suction unit. This controls your uh, dome lights. So that's low and that's high. Action area light, so that works. There is an exhaust vent back there somewhere, which is also working. And then your AC heat, fan speed, that's high, medium, low. And then that's your suction unit again. Uh, storage underneath the squad bench here. All the cabinets slide nice and freely. Very clean cabinets. It's got a three-point seatbelt harness for the squad uh, captain's chair. Additional storage inside here. And then we have a little uh, cabinet here with a two shelf. Thanks for watching. My name is Ross with Pillip Ambulance. You can find this ambulance and others on our website at pillipambulances.com.